The Court of Appeal has ordered an inquest into the Lama Ferry disaster, 11 years after 39 people were killed in the tragedy. Family members who fought for years for an inquest were emotional, seeing many questions remain unanswered to this day, Remy Young reports. Leung Shuk Ning was all smiles, while Chiu Peng Kun was more reserved as they walked out of the High Court. Very emotional, Leung said when asked how she felt after receiving the good news this morning. Leung and Chiu had successfully persuaded the Court of Appeal to order an inquest into the Lama Ferry disaster on National Day in 2012. Leung lost her 24-year-old brother, while Chiu survived the tragedy, but his sister died when two ferries collided. 39 people were killed in Hong Kong's worst maritime disaster since 1971. But despite a police recommendation, Coroner David Koh decided not to hold an inquest. Koh concluded that the purpose of the inquest overlapped with the commission of inquiry set up after the accident. Subsequent requests to intervene were also declined by then-Justice Minister Theresa Cheng and the Court of First Instance. But a three-judge panel led by Chief High Court Judge Jeremy Poon finally granted the family members their wish today. The applicants argued that a number of matters remained unresolved. This included whether the shipbuilder knew that the stricken vessel, Lama 4, had designed flaws. Whether the vessel's draughtsman had neglected his duty when assessing its ability to stay afloat upon sustaining damage to its hull. And if the crew of the other ferry, Sea Smooth, were deprived of rest due to their long working hours. The three judges agreed the points should be examined, and it was plainly in the public interest to hold an inquest. They acknowledged the decision to hold an inquest rested on a discretionary judgment, and that it was wrong for Court of First Instance Judge Russell Coleman not to exercise his. They hoped the inquest will provide closure to the victims' families, even if it is long overdue. Raymond Young, HKIBC.